All right, we are live. So today I want to talk about open loop uh, Ziegler Nichols open loop tuning. And basically the idea here is it's just based on a, an open loop step test. So this is kind of like, think about the step responses that I've been having you sketch so many times. You know, if you open up a valve, what's the response of the process? And so Ziegler Nichols, the tuning rule is based on just kind of looking at kind of the empirical response. And so if you think about a, a step test, and typically we're always thinking about systems that involve delays. And so this is actually theta, just to make that clear. But if you look at the initial, like a first order with first order system with a time delay, you can have the delay, and then you can have kind of initial response, and then it's going to eventually flatten out at steady state. But in this open loop tuning, we don't actually care about the steady state value. We just care about the slope r and kind of the time delay theta. And so these are just estimated from kind of process response curves. And the other kind of uh, variable we're interested in is delta u, which is just the magnitude of the input. So for a unit step test, delta u is equal to one, but you know our input might change 10%, in which case it would be 0 0.1, or it might go by a factor of two. It's just basically the magnitude of that change. And we put that as a correction for the slope because the slope's gonna vary based on the magnitude. So as the magnitude of the input goes, increases that slope's gonna increase. And as we decrease it, that slope's gonna decrease. So the rules are relatively simple. So for P only control, the gain is just one over theta R divided by kind of delta U, which is the magnitude of the step input. And this is kind of the corrected slope, or you can almost think of this as like, almost like a gain for the response. And for PI, it's KC, which is the same rule for the proportional gain, except we're just tuning it down a little bit. So rather than one, we're gonna put 0 0.9. And then our integral time is just gonna be equal to 3.3 times our estimate of our time delay. And so that's kind of basically the tuning rule. So just to give you an example, uh, so if we just have g is equal to two e to minus three s all over four s plus one. If we think about a unit step response for this, we're gonna have delta u is equal to one. And Basically, we're going to have the step test, so we're going to have a delay of three, then we're going to have a first order response, and then it's going to uh, settle out at the value of two, which is the gain of our system. And we're interested in this initial slope. Now, typically, you would get this from real data, but we can actually estimate it if we have the transfer function. So just again, um, our delta u is one. It's very clear that our delay is right over here, is three, and then that R value, and this is kind of the slope, is just simply dy dt, uh, evaluated t equals theta, which is effectively the t equals zero for a first order system. If you actually go back to the analytic solution, this is simply k all over tau is that initial slope. And our k in our case is two, and our tau is four, which tells us that that initial slope is a half. So we have delta u is one, theta is three, and R is a half, so for a PI controller, right? Uh, the proportional gain is 0.9 over theta times R all over delta U. We could just ignore the delta U. So theta is three, R is a half, so we get 0.9 uh, all over three halves, which is 1.8 divided by three, which in this case is just simply 0.6. And likewise, R Interval time is 3.3 .3 times our time delay, which in this case is three. So that tells us 3.3 .3 times, I made another mistake, got ahead of myself, times our three point, and then that's simply equal to 9.9. .9. And so those would be your PI, or open loop Ziegler Nichols tuning rules uh, for a PI controller. So hopefully that's clear. I will also post the notes for this. And if you have any questions, stick them in the comment section. And I will try to get to some of the other comments that were in the other videos tomorrow. Um, so I know there's been some questions and so I'll do my best to answer those. All right, stay safe guys, bye.